All right, well, I'll just show you guys the little mess that I made this morning. We're looking inside the lean-to. None of that was here this morning, and it didn't really take me all that long. Uh, but I just built a couple of emergency overflow stalls, if you will. Um, these are going to have to be for the bigger babies once they've, you know, flushed out, so to speak, and are, you know, at least over a week old, just in case it's a little breezy or it gets a little wet or something. They're not the newborn, um, the newborn babies. But anyway, I was just going to show you what I did. I built this mostly out of scrap, T-posts. We, we talked last night about going to town and buying panels. Um, and really, probably that would be better. Either buying panels or setting wooden posts. But we figured for now, just to save what little bit of money we could, because we don't know for sure if we'll need these. We think we're probably going to end up having to use one or two of them. But we didn't want to go spend a bunch of money on building them, you know, as a just-in-case sort of deal. So... Anyway, uh, I took this piece. This was the piece of panel that used to be um, where we walked. It, it was that little bridge of fence right over here when you walked into the barn area. Um, so I took it and repurposed it. You, you see it's, it's kind of bowed out because it was just a little too long, but I didn't want to cut it to make it fit the space. So I just went ahead and used it as it was. I got it to bend out and fit in there. The gate, this is a repurposed gate off of what used to be the old original milk pen out front. We haven't been using it. But so you can see how the gate will swing open here on the end to get you into the stall and then be able to swing and close and, and uh, pin it up. At the same time, you've got another impromptu gate, not exactly a gate, but it's a cut piece of panel that swings from the other side and swings up against this gate. So you got both gates are right here. They both hinge off the same post and we'll just have to get a little scrap of chain or something to tie it shut. But that gives you a second pin. And then the third pin down here is actually this whole side of it opens up. This is a, another scrap piece of panel uh, and it's just bailing wired to that T-post back there. So it's not even hinged. It's not hinged or nailed or nothing to this post, just bailing wire. So it's kind of like the gate is also the side of the pin. So the whole thing opens up. So again, the idea is not that these are meant to be long-term holding pins really more than anything. It's like a, oh no, I need to put a goat somewhere right now, pin her up so that she's isolated. Um, maybe with some babies or whatever, but not at all planned to be their all day, every day um, quarters. They're just, they're too small of pins. So they're just meant to be kind of quick access, throw somebody in there and pin her up if you have to. You can see it's not great. I mean, I used a T-post here. I used a T-post as a corner post. So it's already pulling in and this metal wants to, this mesh wants to move a lot. But I mean, heck, I'll show you right now. Our emergency pin that we put together last night just to have babies. This emergency pin is just plastic baby gate and Halo's not testing it at all. Well, just a few more easy additions to the goat barn, lean to. And uh, I can't remember the last thing that I told you guys as far as uh, what all I'd done. It's an update, but I've been just kind of pecking away at it each day. I try to get a little something done uh, if I'm not tied up somewhere else, obviously. So I had a couple days here the last couple days anyway weatherman said it was going to rain so i didn't plan any dirt work and it never rained two days uh that i didn't want to start on dirt work for fear of getting rained out and then it never rained anyway the chances are passed so we're back on dirt as soon as we can but as far as the goat barn i uh, went ahead and brought the metal around the north wall there finished it out and i just tacked this up here on the east wall enough to get to where we're going to put this new door in so we settled on putting a four foot gate here to go out into this pen. If you guys remember this post, basically this went straight on across to the edge of that house. This is what we used to call the milk pen. So now we've totally changed that in. We've pushed that fence effectively out to where the metal is. And I've curved out this corner here because it's about eight feet wide. So I, I curved it just because this panel fit, but it actually was good because 
you don't need a square corner in your alley anyway and it gained quite a bit of footage in the pen but wrapped a fair panel around and made another pen I think I showed you guys how I redid these pens I know I made a video about the little crappy emergency pens that I built tore all those back out pretty much the next day and put in just two pens with panels instead of the woven wire and the post and everything because that was garbage um, so I went and bought panels I actually only had to buy two panels uh, and was able to build out these two pens so we're still using you know a cut panel as a gate and I just used a, a fence staple here just a fence staple is all it hangs on as far as a hinge but it actually works quite well in a carabiner for our class the goats don't really test it I mean if they really tried hard we did have we had two clips on this one for a while but anyway you see Carol's kind of sticking her nose out but she's not fighting with it anyway so got those two pins and then just yesterday got this third one built actually just this morning finished putting the two by four wire on the inside of it there um, but this is the third one built you know we've got a couple of those like Eve who only has one baby here and chocolate chip in here uh, laying down she gave us one big dough so these are this will be a good solo pen you know which we let them out twice a day let them get out and run around out of their pen anyway so they get plenty of exercise but anyway as far as the lean-to we decided like I said to put a gate here so this is the new effective egress out of the lean-to and so what that's going to do now is we're, we've got our four foot gate and then we're going to put a four foot rolling door on the outside of that. So when the weather's good, the door will be rolled open so we get good light and airflow through here. When the weather's windy and cold, we'll just roll the door shut and close it off. We're still going to have this pin out here effectively for right now. Um, again, as an overflow, we've done woven wire on all of it as far as, you know, that way if, um, like I said, if we want to put baby goats out here, we can. But what we're wanting to do is come off of this corner here and take a panel across out there. So we'll have a small exterior pin over here and we'll have an alleyway here. So now our four foot rolling door will get us out into an alley. So this little house will shift over or do whatever, maybe go away. Um, but again, this will be another little outdoor pin and we'll have an alley that's gonna get us out to the east side of the pin because right now to go to the east side of the pin, we have to go all the way out and around the barn and come around the back side over there around the buck pen and get out there so wanting to make an alley here maybe be able, and then we can build more pins down the north fence line if we need to um you know buck pens or whatever we'd really like to get the bucks out from behind the barn just because they're uh, they stink to be nice <laughs> but anyway so that's the that's the only changes for now like i said this pen has been fit up i need to put a piece of two by four right across here of the wire on the inside and then this pin is considered kid safe so we can start turning the baby goats out here on nice days let them bounce around could be a little nursery pin whatever um yeah can be whatever it needs to be uh, i want to next take this little house we call this the harriet house just because i built it she was the only one in it i want to move it over i think against that east fence and turn it so the exposure is to the west because then that gets it out of the way of my lean-to and then I can continue on across here putting up more metal and building more pins on the inside of the lean-to if I need to. So what that does is um, we'll still have our, our walkway, alleyway here and then we'll just have where the milk stand's sitting now there'll be another fence will come out and go across. There'll be another little, you know, weaning stall or whatever. We just keep working our way along. So anyway, um, I know I'm rambling, but it's been a lot of fun. I really like having this project as just kind of, yeah, you know, you work on it for a couple hours and then you kind of walk away and you think about what you want to do with it. But my goal for today is done. I have accomplished. I wanted to get that closed in. I'm going to put some straw in here and I'm going to go ahead and move chalk out of the pen that she's in in the barn and get that stall opened up because we believe Oreo is going to kid quite soon and we want to have that stall open. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this gate. I'm going to straw this stall and I'm going to get chalk moved.